What's up guys and gals and welcome back to the Nerd Castle where apparently we're being invaded by goblins again and we're just gonna have to deal with that fact. Not exactly sure how this happened but it occurred in between here and the last episode I was just like moving some stuff around and the goblin army is here. Now I don't expect this is gonna be much more difficult than it was the first time because we've got really really good armor and weapons right now for normal mode so I don't think we're gonna suffer too much. It all comes down to how many bees I can deploy at my enemies though because they're only hitting me for a little bit of damage. I don't think I think they fire normal arrows out of like wooden bows or something like that. It's it's not really that big of a threat once you're past like iron gear if you're in iron gear or whatever when this happens or you just have a gun you might be in a little bit of trouble but we got stuff from like end game early game right now and so I'm thinking that once we get expert mode rocking I think things will get a little bit more challenging but for right now oh look you fell into a pit like you fell right into the plan that I enacted I didn't have to try you just did it all by your lonesome can you guys stop destroying my base real fast here come here this would be a great opportunity for me to play around with like the mini shark or something these guys shoot me through buildings over here. That's right, I got lasers now. It's on. Last time you came here, you thought it wasn't going to get worse. You thought it wasn't going to get worse. Yeah, we've got 28% of them cleared right now. This shouldn't take too much longer. The bees that we're deploying do like a crazy amount of damage for normal mode. Like 8 or 9 damage per bee. That's pretty wild. I mean, they eat them up quick. There we go. Hopefully they don't kill off any of my random villagers though. That would totally upset me. Like I don't want to lose any of my NPCs. I'd be down about it. It would blow. I would not find that to be a fun thing. Let's kill you off. Good money making opportunity too. I mean we get like one silver per goblin. Might end up with a couple of gold after this whole thing. She's trying to repel him. So that's why we couldn't place the terrarium. It didn't have a bunny inside of it. And oh my god. It's a huge object anyways. So if we're going to make like a zoo hall where we want to put everything. It's going to take quite a bit of space like we're gonna need a big big chunk oh look they all got stuck down here. I wonder if they'll suffocate that'd be pretty awesome I can't wait to see if you die I what do I have right now that I could potentially fight them with we're already at 36% well I was gonna go fishing today so if you're wondering what the plan was I was just about to start recording the fishing episode but then we got attacked by another goblin invasion so I was like, eh, well, why not? We'll just hang out here for a little bit. We'll kill the goblin invasion. I'm going to look around for bugs, actually, while we're doing this. Like, assume that I go down into the earth. Does the goblin invasion just stop until I come back to my base? You guys are all on a flat surface. That's a terrible plan when I've got a piercing weapon. You're about to get dealt with, amigos. I could probably get away with shooting all of you down in there like so, too. Oh, look at you and your mad Michael Jordan hops. The best beer is brewed with mad Michael Jordan hops. I don't know if anybody's ever brought this up in any of your like your herbology classes or whatever. But if you got Michael Jordan hops, it's a pretty good place to be if you're trying to start a microbrewery. They are quite famous. He knows what he's doing. What is that right there? Is that like, a, oh, I thought I could pick up that bow for a minute. Thought I was going to be able to get the gobby bow. It was going to be great. Let's murder a couple more goblins on this side. We're over 50% right now. You remember how hard of a challenge this was for us the first time that we did it? And then now we're sitting right here just like steamrolling through this without even having to worry about our health. We can just walk into the swaths of goblins that are around and not even worry about it. It's pretty awesome. It's pretty awesome. What happened on this side? Maybe I should go back to the side with the lava and just watch them all die down there. That might be a little bit more effective. You guys want to spawn from this side? There you go. Fall into my... ah, Fall into the lava better and die. I would appreciate it if you would be better at falling into lava and being a casualty rather than a living member of your species. I should probably fill in some of these holes if I really want this plan to work long term. Pick up all the gold real fast. I don't even know if there's a gold over here, but yeah, almost a gold. It's something. It's worthwhile. Deploy the bees. Enjoy the stinging fury of my righteous bee horde. My bee band. There we go. I like that a little bit better. The bee band. They're a boy band made out of bees mostly. Ooh, that's a kill opportunity right there. That's a juicy target. That's a juicy target. Don't feed me those. You give me more of those opportunities and we might never get anything done around here. I love killing shit. It makes me so happy in this game. Some people complain about how much I kill stuff, but forget that. I love killing stuff. I like Diablo. I like churning through enemies at a rapid pace. It makes me happy. And if it makes me happy, you're just going to have to settle with the fact that it's probably going to happen either way. A few more deaths over here. Let the bees handle the rest. You came to a laser gun fight with a bow, dude. You are just really, really underprepared for what's going to happen. We defeated the goblin horde. It looks like there's going to be different types of goblins, too, that come in. They're still going to be dithering around for a little while. What I needed to do today is I wanted to go fishing, and so we need to find ourselves, like, worms and bugs and things like that so that we can go fishing a little bit better. I don't have any of those, so I think for right now we're going to jump down into the bottom 
of a cave and just see how many random bugs are around. If we see them, we'll throw them up in a net and then we'll go off to the east maybe in the next episode and get all of our fishing done. But for right now, I'm going to try and go as deeply down as I can. I don't see a whole lot of bugs around. I think they pop out of the walls when you're digging too. So that might be the other problem. Is there one right there? No, there's totally not one right there. This feels like the sort of location where there should be bugs though. So where do the bugs actually come from? I see them around when I dig, but do they come like out of the blocks themselves? If they come out of the blocks themselves. We might have better luck just going through some of this stuff, but it also begs the question like how do we keep from killing them with our pick when they come by? Oh look, there's an unexplored chasm over here. Cool. I don't think I've ever been in here before. What is that? Hmm, it's a pot next to a big old grip of stone. All right, works for me. I'm gonna need some more stone and copper blocks too if I'm ever gonna get any more construction done. So let me stick with that for right now. Up to the top. This week has really been sort of uneventful for me. I went and saw Kevin Hart on Saturday or Sunday or whatever. But other than that, this has been one of those weird weeks where I don't really have anything to talk about. I mean, there's stuff that happens each day, but it's all so mundane. I've been eating a lot of chip witches. Which, if you don't know what a chip witch is, essentially when I'm stressed, I have this really terrible habit of just eating bad food. I stress eat. It's a thing that I do. I know that I do it. And I still do it anyways because I don't believe in self-improvement. And so anyways, I eat chip witches. They're basically these little Nestle things that have like two cookies on the outside of like this ice cream that weirdly never melts. I don't know what it is about that. I'm sure it's got some kind of weird chemical inside of it that makes that happen. But anyways, chip witches, they don't melt for some reason. Like you can leave them out on the table for like an hour. And they'll have like this goopy mass in the middle, but it won't really be totally melted. Wow, that gold was ballin'. Apparently his life has been going well. I think I walled this off over here so I wouldn't have to worry about spiders anymore because I got tired of dealing with them. But I might be able to find some bugs in here. I don't know, spiders eat bugs though, so that might not work out the way that I planned. Either way, face my bees, you filthy arachnid bastards. Yeah, I don't think this is going to work. Maybe we'll go back over the other way. Where do you find bugs at? Like, bugs are everywhere until I need to find them. And then once I need to find them, they're never around. Hmm. Odd. I don't know if I need to go to a different biome, maybe, and catch them there. That might work. Maybe go over to the jungle biome. Or I think I found a whole bunch of, like, random bugs when I was down in the antlion sand biome as well. I don't really see them around much, and I tend to not, like, hold on to them. I actually, there's a snail right there. We can fish with that. So we'll get ourselves a snail. Yeah, snail time. Come over here. Come with me, snail. Come with me. I don't see anything else over in this area, but this is basically going to be, like, a bug collection episode. So if you don't like that, I apologize, but I can't really do much more than that because we need to do it. And I figured, eh, it'd be kind of boring to, like, run around for hours off camera doing it. And so I figured I'd just switch on the camera. We'd hang out for a little bit. But I've been eating a lot of, twi like, chip witches. And these things are, like, the worst thing that you could possibly put in your body. They're kind of like a Cinnabon. In that there's no real excuse for anybody to eat this. It's two big-ass squishy cookies around ice cream. And the only reason you eat it is for morale. If you don't need morale, if you're having, like, a good day, there's no need for a chip witch. It is purely, like, I think that the military... For long engagements, I think they could really do wonders at keeping themselves engaged for long periods of time. Like, people would never want to see their families again as long as you give them chip witches. They'd be like, eh, forget my kids. I got chip witches. It's all good. That bug is moving right there. Man, he is all over the place. Come back. I want you to be my friend. Why won't you hang out with me? Did you die? Where are you? There you go. Oh, it's a mouse. Can you fish with a mouse? What do you do with a mouse? It's not a bait, so I guess we can maybe put it in a terrarium. I love mice. Mice and rats, like, I absolutely wonderful little creatures. I like them. A lot of people have misconceptions about mice and rats. They did cause the plague, but honestly, that was more due to fleas and things like that, too. So what I would say is that, being the case that I very much like mice, they're wonderfully clean little creatures. And I love the way that they, like, interact with one another, and they have, like, social hierarchies, and they, like, look out for each other. Like, if there's a mouse in a trap, other mice will try and figure out ways to get them out. It's like one of those little things that I don't think, especially with, like, rats, I don't think most people consider that. Put out traps and whatnot, because most people are afraid that they spread disease. But I don't know. I like rats and mice. I like looking at them. I liked, when I was a kid, I had rats. And they're still, I don't have one right now, because... I don't know. I've got so many things going on at the moment that I've got enough pets to where I feel like I can't really take care of many more things. Can I get mice out of this ash right here? This silt block, like mice and worms, do they fall out of that? Because I've totally seen bugs come out of rocks while I've been digging before. Doesn't look like it. Oh, this guy's getting, this guy's getting brave over here. The other thing that I suppose we could do is just continue like wandering around the caves until we see things we want to catch. I didn't know mice were in the game, so that's pretty cool. If I could catch bats, I'd put them in a terrarium too. 
I like bats, but not quite as much as I like. So we got like a, one of those rolly snails right there. Or a beetle or something. What are you supposed to Can I catch you? No, I can't catch you. Okay. So if I can't catch you, I suppose that then your shell is only for dyes. I'm going to keep going down. I should have brought my lava charm along because I do need to go down to the lava lair and get more lava. As you can see, our lava pit really didn't accomplish much when it was over there. I wish that it had been a little bit more effective. Still, it helps out when you set up near the location where you want the trap to be deployed in the first place. I don't see any bugs around just yet. So far, we got a snail and a mouse. And other than that, we've been very, very unlucky. Hmm. I might have to look into, like, methods for bug catching to make this a little bit more effective. Because what I really, really need is the ability to get bait in a rapid fashion. It's so maybe setting up something like that. Can you catch the bats, by the way? Is that a thing you can... No, you can't catch bats. Okay, well, never mind then. Who wants to catch bats anyways? If this doesn't... Oh, there's one right there. Gotcha. Got ourselves a worm. So that's going to be... What bait power is a worm? Wormy, where'd you go? Oh, you're right there. 25% bait power. That's pretty good. That's not bad at all. 25% bait power plus the 50% or the 25% or whatever that we're getting from any of... Why are you throwing... Am I all out of... Oh, balls. I must be all out of torches. All right. Well, let's put a helmet back on. We'll have a look over here. Don't see anything just yet. That's going to be troublesome once we get down into areas where I haven't really explored yet because I need to make sure that we can see the bait before we catch it. It looks like I was supposed to be catching these like along the way while we were playing the game. And a lot of those butterflies that I gave up while I was actually exploring, I thought they would stay inside the glass case and I learned that the hard way. There went a bug right there. I saw it. Damn it. Missed out on a bug. Well, let's go down to the lava layer real fast. I didn't bring the buckets that I need either, though, so that might not work out either. Let's go back to base for a minute, I suppose, since this isn't going to work. I might have to make a little cut right in here to figure out how we want to do this better. But let's go find a body of water, and I know that I might have some extra bait in here somewhere if we just look around for a while. I've got a bunch of chests that are just full of, like, random shit, so I assume I've got, like, one in here somewhere that's got, like, 500 worms inside of it. Nothing right there. Nothing in there. My random stuff box. I don't see anything in here either, so I must have only kept the butterflies. Let's walk towards a body of water. And we'll see if we can get this to work out. We're bugging out today. If I can't find some bugs, this is just not going to be a good episode for me. So if we don't find bugs here, do I still have the Aya Cthulhu with me? Good, I do. Maybe I'll summon another Aya Cthulhu too while we're out here. There's no real point. I just don't want it to be in my inventory anymore. Oh, a couple of butterflies right there. Gotcha. I'm going to injure myself in order to grab you real fast. I think butterflies might be my best option. They're the thing that I see far and away the most prevalently. There's also like some random scorpions and things that you can catch over on the opposite side in the desert. So we'll try walking over there for a little bit and during our little buggy adventure we'll see if we can find ourselves anything useful then once we make our way over to water maybe we'll throw out a couple of lines I don't like fishing in real life so I don't know it's one of those things that never really grabbed me I went fishing a lot when I was a kid because my dad and all his friends are real kind of old-fashioned they like the simple pleasures I suppose and they were always out and about fishing and they would bring me with them I don't know if there's gonna be more or less bugs down here it looks like less is the answer to that question there's some big bugs but I don't think we can really fish with those. Let's go back up to the surface. See if we can keep our eye on butterflies or anything else that might be useful. Please don't come over here slime while I'm trying to get up through that hole. I left that open. There's nothing down there. But anyways, back to what I was talking about. I got multiple things going at the same time right now. I don't really... I don't know. I don't enjoy fishing. Some people really seem to enjoy it. And it's like one of those relaxing things where they can kill like an entire morning. But my problems with fishing are thus. A, you gotta get up early in the morning. Doesn't work out for me. You don't really get to go fishing. I'm going to bring you along with me. Sorry, you got to come with me right now. There we go. Get my strange plant back. I'm going to try and grab those while I run around the topography too. But anyways, it's nighttime now. I think it might be a decent plan since it's nighttime. Can you use a goldfish's bait? I know I've used little minnows and things like that as bait for bigger fish. So maybe we can do that. Or do you just count as a material? Probably just counts as a material. Yeah, it's a material. It's smiling, and it might be a good snack. That's a reference to goldfish crackers, by the way. I don't know if people... That's a yellow marigold. Damn it, I thought that was going to be one of the cooler magical items that I could have. Well, get on out of my inventory, then. Don't really want the fish, either. I'm going to keep him over there with the mouse, though, because we can throw him into a terrarium later. I... Let me go ahead. I'm going to cut off right here until daytime comes back. And once daytime comes back, we'll see if we can accomplish anything. I need to get something that allows me to pass time quicker. I don't know if that item exists in the game, but I wish that it did. I'll be back.
All right, so I've been running around the map for a little while, and I've got enough bait to where we can actively fish. He said he wanted me to get, like, a ping fish, though, and that it's in the glacial zone. I killed a zombie, and it dropped a zombie hood, by the way. I don't know if anybody noticed that I've got a new head accessory, but I would love it if you would notice. I mean, you go to all the effort to make yourself look all did up, just to remind people that, hey, you know, I still care that you care what I look like, and so... Every now and again, you put in the effort, everything looks good. So where was that cave over here? I know there was a cave over here that we got all kinds of down inside of, and I don't know exactly where it's at. Let me go ahead, I'm real fast, and make that a lot darker. You can actually, if you use page up and page down, it'll make your it'll make your map more or less opaque. I don't know if people know about that. I figured I'd bring it up. I don't know. You got to drop those random little bits of knowledge on people. I got some worms. Apparently, I can make an enchanted nightcrawler out of a star and a worm so I guess I'll do that because that increases the bait power I got a couple of butterflies I got a whole bunch of grasshoppers while I was running around and then I've got our snail and so mostly I haven't found anything that useful I think we had a cave over here somewhere let's see if we can find I know there was a cave because we got a bunch of loot out of it right or was that cave at the bottom of a different cave we might have to dig down to find this one but I wanted to find an underwater body that I could use I mean I guess I could just walk all the way to the east or all the way to the west what is that a cardinal See if I can catch him. Yeah, I got a cardinal. I don't think I've ever gotten a cardinal before. That's pretty cool. Chase down a bird. I got all kinds of fun stuff that's going to go in all of my little terrariums. I'm excited about it. It looks like there's a hatchet on the back end of that, like, umbrella right there. Why would you need a hatchet on the back end? I guess it's for utility, maybe, but why would you need a hatchet on the back end of your umbrella? Seems like a bit much. I'm going to continue my trend of putting things down everywhere that I can to keep monsters from spawning because I just don't like dealing with them while I run around. There was a cave down here somewhere, but I can't seem to locate. I know we explored a cave in like one of our previous episodes, right? I thought we got down in one. Maybe it was at the bottom of a different cave structure, though. Or maybe it was at the bottom of... Maybe it was at the bottom of the blight, possibly? I'm sorry, the corruption. I always call it by the wrong name, then people get upset with me. There's a body of water right there, but I don't know if that's enough for us to catch a fish in. It looks a little shallow. Looks a little shit. Well, let's get down in here. Maybe I had like... I thought I got cave access from down in here somewhere. Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. From here on in, we might have to make this happen. We can actually deal with Ebonstone now, so that's not so bad. Yeah, I was gonna say, there's bodies of water down in here if you just like take the time to find them. Got a little bit of ice right there. Can I fish right here? Is there any real... Does it matter where you fish? So long as it's like a... This is a pretty big and deep body of water. Ooh, hey, free heart down here. I would like you to be my friend. Join me till the very end. I'm gonna dig one of my little air holes over here. Yeah, that's about right. That's exactly what I wanted to accomplish right there. I don't want any of these snow blocks, though. They don't really help me. Get rid of the acorn so that I can finally have full health. So we have maximum health now. The only real benefit we're going to get from health and those random little heart containers, I guess, now at this point, I think is that you can use them for some crafting recipes, but I'm not totally sure on that one. You can correct me if I'm wrong. But I would assume that somewhere they're folded into crafting recipes. If I can fish in any of these little watering holes, it doesn't really seem to matter to me. Let me widen it a little bit, though. I think I should probably chisel away some of this ice real fast. If I can spread this out a little ways. Yeah, that's going to look nice and wide. That's exactly what I want right there. So in taking this out a little bit wider and spreading it so that I can throw my lure out a little bit further. I don't know if the fish spawn based on like what you're doing in the body of water because there's not like a whole lot of fish around anyways. Let's put in some lights so that I can see over here. There we go. That looks good. And now that we got that, let's throw out a lure, huh? Throw that out and in there, and I don't know exactly how this plays out, but I would assume that we throw that out and in there, and we just, like, wait. It looked like something was biting right there. So I don't know if you wait for the nibble, because I pulled it back in the last time it was jiggling around like that, I was like, come here, it's the jiggling, y'all! Ooh, we got some. It's a shoe. Yay, we caught a stereotype. Awesome. Exactly what I always wanted to catch, an old shoe. Not even a new shoe. How do you catch it? Do you lose your bait when you catch a shoe? That'd be unfortunate if you lose your bait when you catch a shoe. That'd be a little bit wacky. I'd be a little bit upset. I think I did lose my bait, though, because I don't see my snail around anywhere. Well, fine. No, he's right there. Never mind. We're good. 
Oh, you gotta time it. So like when it goes down, you kind of there's a feel to it. Okay, so I get how it works now. What does a specular fish do? It's a material for other things. I'm gonna assume for a second that I lost my bait right there. Come on, bite it. I never like fishing. I don't know. I guess I'm too impatient. It's weird though, cause I'm not an impatient person in real life. It's just that like, is it even using bait right now? Like, do I have to combine that, or does it automatically use it? It's a consumable. So I assume that each time I'm doing this, it's using up one of my random baits. I don't know where the good bait is at, but... Ooh, we got a wooden crate. What's inside a wooden crate? It can be placed, or you can open it. It had three gold. I'd rather have the three gold. I'm not going to place crates all over the place. That's not something that I find to be lucrative. Ooh, we got another specular fish. So I assume each biome will have its own things that you can catch. It'll have like rare or more common things. Oh, I screwed that up. I timed it wrong. We got this. But I never liked fishing. And it's not because I'm impatient, but it's a number of things. First and foremost, it requires me to get up early in the morning. As far as I'm concerned, anything before 10 o'clock doesn't exist. I don't care. And if it does exist, I don't care about it simply by nature of the fact that I went to bed at like 4 a.m. And so if I got to get back up, some people would just say, you're already up at 4 a.m., so why not go fishing? To that I say, that is boo, I don't accept that at all as a resolution to this problem. Maybe use like that right there, no, my enchanted nightcrawler, come back. I don't know how I like affix this, maybe you take it and... Requires bait to catch fish, it looks like I'm using the same bait like over and over and over again though. Like I feel like the snail is what I'm using, I'll get my snail back in just a second, let me try something here, let me try something here. It looks like it's always using a snail. Maybe this one comes with its own bait? Droop, droop, droop. Huh? Ah, I timed it wrong. You gotta get it while it's down in the water. Ah, I timed that one wrong too. I hate myself right now. I'm so upset with this that I know people are gonna yell at me on the internet the second that I do this. But this is like a whole new facet of gameplay that we never- we got a tin can, huh? Alright, I don't know how useful that's gonna be either. Let me get my snail back though. And so do I maybe put it, like, right there, it's just going to throw it out. So how do I use it as bait? Hmm. Well, I'm going to investigate. We'll go fishing in the next episode, too, but I'll see you all there. This is Terraria 1.3. We got a whole bunch of bait. We managed to get some stuff done. We caught some bass, which is actually a pretty good meal right there if you wanted to. And some specular fish that I assume will be used in some way for our alchemy. I'll see you all next time. Take care, everybody. This is Terraria 1.3. If you want the game, look down below. You can get it right there. I'll see you all later.